Well, we're going to work on the pressure tonight, and I'm going to introduce those three pressures that I like to talk about the most, the hug, the contour, and the sag. So we're going to go through a quick kind of demo of what each one of them is, but more importantly, we're going to do drills that are going to hopefully bring those pressures to life. So you don't just intellectualize it, you feel it. It's like, ah, okay, now it's real. Okay, Chris, can I use you? So the first pressure we're going to do is hug. Okay, the first pressure we're going to do is called a hug. And so I'm going to use the geography of cross sides top. I think that's the most uh, overt demonstration of pressures. But you can do these pressures everywhere. I can be cross sides top on Chris, and, and, and I look geographically like I'm in the right place. I look like I'm really in control here. But if I'm just sitting here on his chest, and I'm not w exerting my weight, if I'm not intending my weight to do certain things, I really don't have a lot of control. I might have geography, but I don't have control of his energy. If Chris starts to oompa, one of the things he's going to create is space. Okay, if I'm just sitting on him and there's no sense of pressure or gravity, there's no sense of a magnet pulling me into him, he's going to create separation. On top, and this is important, on top, my goal is to be a space miser. I want to absorb. I want to be a spatial black hole. Any space around him, I want to suck it up. I want it to be mine. I want to own it. His goal on bottom is to be a space finder. He wants to get out. With that in mind, that's where the hug works. When I'm here, all I'm going to do is I like to get this underhook or underneath his head and this underhook under his arm and get the harness position. But more importantly, notice my knees and what happens to my back. I get off my knees, I'm on the ground, and I gently pull my shoulders back. Now, I don't actually have to lift him off the mat, but the idea is I'm sucking him into me. It's a hug, okay? I'm I mean, we generate a lot of force pushing, but we have a lot of force in the pull. And so I'm pulling him to me. I'm sucking him up. As I do that, what I do is create such a gravitational pull or a friction that when he starts to oompa, it's really hard for him to create space. And that's what he needs to get away. Space is his ally. Space is his friend. 